Hello everybody, welcome to Builder Buy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung 980 Pro. This is going to be a heat and speed test and this is one that you guys have asked for so this is one that we're going to do and we're honored for that. This shouldn't take long but I've been excited to do this so uh, I'm stoked, I hope you guys are too. And this is answering y'all's questions. Okay, I'm going to explain the setup to you but first I want to go ahead and get the test started. Now if you'll notice in the top two screens on the far right we see temperature and we also see Crystal Disk Mark version 7. Yes, there's a newer version, but to keep it apples and apples, I'm trying to keep everything the same. So what I'm going to do when I zoom in on that screen, what you see on the top left is going to go to two screens. Let me show you. Now, that allows us with two screens to see the information from two different applications. Now, if you'll notice on the bottom right, we're going to be looking again at the FLIR camera, and we've also got the digital thermometer up here with an NTC probe. Now, I have also activated a, uh, a sensor on the FLIR camera that actually spots what the temperature is and it's right next to that sensor probe. So I've got temperature reading approximations uh, from 47 degrees down to I believe that's 30.8 degrees and right at the sensor it's hovering at 42 degrees. Now that cross hash mark that shows me 42 degrees is centered right on that drive. Right above it if you'll notice the dark that's the thermistor for the thermometer. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize the test and I have to, it's easier for me and because this is a one terabyte drive we've got the drive set for drive D which is the Samsung 980 Pro and it's a one terabyte drive so it'll be a one gig cache. So I'm going to select all and let it initialize. Then we'll watch in real time as this fluctuates with heat. Now like I, get, I said again when I tried the uh, Samsung software it showed a static temperature. When I tried the um, Sabrent software it also showed a static point meaning it was a, a fixed point. It didn't, didn't fluctuate. So the only way I could see any kind of fluctuation was using hardware info from the sensors. And hardware info is reading two different sensors and I'm curious where it's at. And as I look at the uh, camera, the FLIR camera, as well as the digital thermometer, the digital thermometer is reading 32.4 but the FLIR camera is reading 46 degrees. So we're looking at 46.4 and hardware info is seeing 49 for drive temperature. Drive temperature 2 is reading 61. And if, we're, if you're trying to figure out the difference in where everything is at, on the bottom is where the screw is at, so on the top is where the controller is at. So the sensor is in the middle, the sensor is about where the cache is at. The temperature we're reading would be on, since this is the screw, that's the first stack of memory and the second stack of memory. And it's interesting to take a look at this camera uh, as we see this right now, but I, I have some shots I'm going to show you looking at the back side of that stick of memory. There's a copper heat sink over those two pieces of memory on the back side. So I wanted to have this information available to you to show you, and I'm presenting it in a different way, which I think is a better way. As good as the first test was on the Sabre and Drive, I think the specificity here is, uh, is that much better. But anything you know, we learn by doing. So. We know what we know about the Sabrent drive. We use the Sabrent software, but no good. Will I go back and repeat the test? Absolutely not. But I'm going to use this same scenario as we go to step number three when we do the WD Black SN850. So I find it curious right now. We are at 48.4 degrees and drive temperature at 50 degrees. 48.7, 48.8, 48.9, and that's up at 52. So I know this when I say this, I know the FLIR camera is reading an actual temperature reading. I don't know if we're getting a temperature reading with uh, hardware info based on power. But either way, we have two approximations that we can look at. And the sensor, the digital thermometer, that thermistor says that is 34.4 degrees. So I think the best approximation that anyone can use would be hardware info. And comparing that with a FLIR camera, the readings are pretty close. I've got 51.4 degrees, 51.7. So 51.7 on the FLIR camera and 55 degrees from hardware info. The test hasn't finished. Usually the heat will peak at about this point when we're at phase two of the writing. And again, our, our numbers look pretty good. I mean, for a uh, second generation drive. And again, this is PCI Express 4.0. We're testing on the Gigabyte TRX40 designated motherboard. And this particular motherboard is uh, what we think bang for the buck in this particular class. So as I'm looking at you guys and I'm talking, I'm, I'm trying to keep track of the readings because I'm watching the video switch and <laughs> make sure everything's copacetic because there's a lot of information. 
Took a lot of time to set this up, but now that it repeated for each of the three drives is not too bad. Uh, the worst thing is the time it takes to change the drive because the camera's good for about an hour. So depending on how long the test takes, I have to take the camera off, the FLIR camera, charge it, put it back on. Otherwise, I can just swing it out of the way. So we are not quite finished, but on our read, 6,680 megabytes on the read, 4,975 megabytes on the right. Temperature, we are at 51.9 degrees, 52 degrees. We're 52 degrees on the FLIR camera, and we are 51 degrees at Hardware Info. And Hardware Info, the temperature is coming down, but based on the FLIR camera, we're still at 51.4 degrees. So it's interesting with all the information. You guys asked for it. We're doing it. We're showing it. I hope the first test was satisfactory. I hope this next test is better. And uh, I'm, I'm stoked now and eager to do the third test. It doesn't take too long to do this. It takes, uh, took a day to set it up, but it only takes a few minutes to run it. So as we do this, I also have a separate camera recording in case there's anything in particular I want to show you before or after. Okay, it's starting to settle down. So that pretty much sums it up. We're still at uh, hovering at 50 degrees, coming down to 49.7, and that says 48 degrees, so close approximation. Anybody can use hardware info to test a drive. You guys want to know how they spin out. Uh, that gives us some kind of an idea. And anything that pops up on the phone, it's a smartphone, so I didn't bother to silence it this time. So hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. And this is all about answering subscriber questions. You guys, y'all the best. I love y'all. I appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned. We are on to the next video. We're out. <laughs>